So here is my fully assembled Nook. And what I am going to do is install ESXi on this Nook. I have an eight gigabyte USB stick that I will be installing it on. Um, you don't need to install it on an eight gigabit USB stick. Two gigabytes should be um, sufficient. I just happen to have one of these. It looks, it's nice and small and it looks nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to plug it into my laptop and install ESXi there. That was a nifty little trick that I read on somebody's blog and I will post the link on the blog on the YouTube page. And so that makes it easier. And the reason I'm installing it on a USB stick rather than on the original, sorry, the, uh, the local hard drive on the Nook is because that I might want to use vSAN in the future sometime. It's easy to upgrade in the future, and I just have more flexibility with this little USB stick thing. So I will go to the laptop. Here I've downloaded the ESX Customizer version 2.72 already, and I've also downloaded the Nook drivers that I will need to inject into the ISO. I have also downloaded VMware ESX 5.5's ISO, and uh, so I will start with the ESXi Customizer. And with this, I will go and browse to the ISO that I downloaded onto my desktop, the ESXi 5.5. And then I will point to the drivers that I need. And so I will go to that URL. And uh, these are VIBs and not TGZ. And the first one I'll do is the NIC driver. The network driver is different from the one that comes with ESXi or those that come with ESXi. So I will run this and um, it will inject the NIC driver into the into the ISO. Say, do I want to custom uh, Do I want to replace? Yes. And now it's done. And after that, I will have to install the SATA driver. I apologize for the baby screaming in the background. She is extremely sleepy. So now I will inject the SATA driver into the ISO. Now it's important to note that I'm not using the same ISO anymore. I have to go back to the ISO that was newly created because I am not going to be, I don't want to inject that same, uh, go go back and inject the, the NIC driver again. So this is going to be a new ISO or the same, the ISO that was just uh, created and I'm just going to overwrite the same one. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's done with ESX customization and uh, we can move on next to doing the install. So now let's plug that USB stick in and let's continue the install. I'm going to actually rename this file so that it, I know that it's the Nook one and we can call it custom or we can call it Nook, whatever. And I'm going to copy it into my local drive so that I can have it accessible to other VMs because I'm going to load this ESXi ISO onto another VM. So let's move forward with that. Let's just make sure that it's copied. Uh, there it is. So let's plug in the USB stick again. And I will make it available to the ESXi 5 VM. And let's connect up that ISO. Connect, show all. Let's make sure that USB stick is connected. I think it is, yep, we're good. I can reboot this VM now. And let's put it from ISO and we will do the install. And the install is pretty much the, is the easy part. 
pretty much just loads and installs. It's pretty quick and straightforward. There's only one little gotcha after the install. When you boot up the NIC, sorry, the, the NUC uh, with the USB stick, you will have to um, re you have to add the uh, the NIC's uplink to the to the um, to the management network. Otherwise, it will not um, connect. Our networking won't work, but that's not an issue. So it wants to put the VM NIC into promiscuous mode. We don't need to do that for just an installer, so I'm just going to say no. By the way, this VM uh, does not have very much in it. It's pretty much just uh, when you go to create a new VM, it's really just uh, you know the typical hardware. I didn't give it any customization or anything like that. I don't really care about this VM very much. Uh, all I'm using it for is just to install ESX on this little USB stick. I did install a um, uh, ESX in the VM, but that was only because I was interested in um, I was interested in running a virtual ESX to do something else. So let's see. I don't see my USB stick in here, so I will have to figure out why it's not here. Let's go to USB. It's not connected, that's why. So I will connect it. And then now I'll hit F5 to refresh. And it should show up. There we go. Let's do the install. Give it a root password. F11 for install. And there's okay, that's. We just have to reboot and we're done. So I just I'm just gonna shut the VM down. Now I've got my Nook plugged in. I just powered it on, and it should boot. Let's see what happens. My monitor is now turning on. And we should see the BIOS. Now we see it's loading VMware ESXi. And there's just one little bit that I need to tell you to do, and that was mentioned a little bit earlier, which is to make the small change in the VM NIC so that it can get a DHCP address. I do not have a physical uh, I don't have a the NIC plugged in right now to a switch, so it will not get a DHCP address, but I can show you where it is to set that up. So we'll just let this finish booting, and I'll log in and I'll show you. I apologize for the crappy screen. It, I, the Nook does not have a ILO or a drag or something like that. So there's no other way for me to record this besides with the camera and on the monitor. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's go to custom and I'll log in. And I will go to Configure Management, Network Adapters, and oh, actually it's already enabled, so I do not have to enable it. I guess it's only on 5.1 that I have to do this. So then we're good. All you have to do is just go and configure your IP configuration and 
you can log in with the vSphere client and do everything else.